Rory Norman's grandfather tells me he does not know why they were targeted. Meanwhile, he's saying he thinks that this is just the start of another deadly year in Dallas. In a park on Valentine Street in the Bonton neighborhood of South Dallas, children played basketball and played on the swings with their parents close by. On the minds of many in this neighborhood is what happened at this home nearby. Its windows riddled with bullets. We hear some shooting. We heard the boy hollering. Pop, I'm here. And we wake up and run toward the room. Cecil Thomas is talking about the gunfire that rang throughout his home early Sunday morning while he and his family were inside. Dallas police say someone intentionally shot into the home, killing a one-year-old named Rory Norman and injuring 20-year-old Jalen Miller. I used to look forward to coming in the door, and I come in the door and he said, Papa, you got some chips? <laughs> And I gave him chips. Norman was a few weeks away from turning two years old. This is him with his mother, sister, and other family members at the State Fair of Texas a few months ago. On the left is Rory's uncle, Jalen Miller. Miller, a student at UNT Dallas. He was shot multiple times but survived. It happened on my watch, and I am angry, and this has to stop in this city. It's a violent start to the new year, coming off 2019, which had the most murders in the city in more than a decade. Sunday, Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall was angry and vowing 2020 will not be a repeat of last year. We all want to live in, envi in an environment where there is no violence, but we all must roll up our sleeves and make sure that that happens. One day after the murder of little Rory Norman, another crime scene in the same street, Police and federal agents searched a home and arrested Steve Roberson, a suspect in a separate shooting. Police say there's no connection to this scene and Sunday shooting, but it still left neighbors rattled. We're just not safe anywhere no more, and it's just getting worse and worse. For Thomas, he says he doesn't know what the solution to fixing the crime problem in Dallas is. What do you think has to be done to change this? Oh, wait, man. Sure, hold on. I couldn't even begin. I couldn't even begin to get my opinion on that. Because there's so much going on in the world today. Plenty evil. Bud says he does not want to see other families planning a funeral for a one-year-old like his family. You no, know, you didn't have to do this here, man. And you done took the life of a child and didn't even get started. But his time here was gracious to us. His time here definitely was gracious to me. And UNT Dallas, the school where Rory's uncle goes to, they sent a statement extending their condolences for the family, and they say when school resumes on Monday, there will be grief counselors for any student who needs it.